We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I'm so happy to be with you today. I've got a message for you and the title of my message is Enjoy Life, Enjoy the Journey, Enjoy the Process. And I trust, know and believe this message will bless you. So let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit, wherever you are in your own words. Welcome the Holy Spirit in the place where you're watching. Precious Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you right here in studio, and I welcome you in the place where my dear friend is watching. Take my dear friend closer to Jesus, and help my dear friend to enjoy life and to enjoy the journey and the process. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, I want to start by reading from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 from verse 13 to verse 14. It says, And I applied my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under heaven. It is an unhappy business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. I have seen everything that is done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and a striving after the wind. Now, I've met countless people who go about their daily life not doing what they truly want to do, but rather their focus is on trying to impress others around them, trying to meet expectations, trying to live up to the standard that everyone else around them is living up to trying to perform and show others what they have. And in the process, they lose themselves. They lose what truly makes them happy. And they begin to feel unhappy. They begin to feel unhappy with what they've got and how life is going, even though they may have a lot. Let's read and see clearly what the Bible is saying in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 from verse 13 to verse 14. It says, And I applied my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom all that is done under the heaven. And it is an unhappy business that God has given to the children of man to be busy with. I have seen everything under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and is striving after the wind. There's a term called the rat race. And this is something that so many people are stuck in. But as born again believers, we go by a different set of rules. We should live life differently. We should enjoy every moment to the fullest. We don't need to live our lives copying others, trying to live up to expectations trying to meet demands that others expect of us. We don't need to live life in such a way that we miss out on the true joy and essence of the gift called life. You see, there are so many blessings that God has given us, so many things that God has given us to enjoy. And if we slow down for a moment and take a moment to just appreciate these things, we find true happiness. We find true gratitude and thankfulness towards God. My encouragement to you today is let go of this endless pursuit of trying to please people, trying to keep people happy, trying to meet expectations and live. Be you. Be the person that God created you to be. Be happy. Enjoy the gift of life. Enjoy time in the presence of God. Enjoy God's creation. Take a moment sometime. Take some time out to just go and look and see all that God has created and appreciate it. Take a moment to enjoy and appreciate your family and your friends around you. Apply the law of grace. 
in the same way that God has applied the law of grace towards you. Apply grace when dealing with others and when dealing with situations. Break free from this trap of constantly working and working and working and trying to impress everyone around you. Break free of this trap of this standard that society expects you to live up to and start to be you, start to do you, start to enjoy being you. Every day is a gift and you have a unique personality, you are a unique person. Start to enjoy being who that person is. Discover who that person is in Christ. And enjoy being that person. If you are a person who loves to get out and see nature, go out there and explore and enjoy nature. If you are a person who likes to go on adventures, go on awesome adventures. Those are times when you can pray and seek God. If you are a person who loves to rest and just enjoy quiet time with God, then rest and enjoy quiet time with God. But don't fall into the trap of giving up what you love to do in order to live life in an endless pursuit trying to please others. Because there is one thing about expectations and pleasing other people. They will never be pleased. It is a loop and a circle and a trap that just keeps on going and going and going and it sucks the joy and life out of you. Don't live your whole life striving after vanity and miss the essence of life itself. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. Aim for inner satisfaction and inner peace. People can influence what happens around you on the outside. But you can control what happens on the inside. You can control what happens on the inside. You can choose to be happy. Aim for inner satisfaction and fulfillment as you progress in your journey with Christ. So that when you are older, and you look back. You will look back with appreciation and thanksgiving to God, knowing that you have lived to the fullest. As we go up to Christ, and we live our life for Him, and we pick up our cross, and we start to deny the flesh and the self, you start to recognize what truly makes you happy. You start to see the beauty in everything. You start to appreciate it. And you start to become happy. Enjoy life. Enjoy life in Christ. Enjoy the process as God takes you through. Enjoy the journey. I want to pray for you that God will give you the grace to enjoy true happiness on your journey with Christ. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin by praising God for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I trust, I know I believe. God is going to do something. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy released in abundance even today. Thank you that you don't leave us helpless, you don't leave us alone, and you guide us. You speak to us. You show us this is the way. Walk in it. And we are grateful. We are truly grateful for all that you do for us. From the small things to the big things. And we lift up your name. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all the glory. We give praise and honor where it is due. It is due to you. You are our God and we are grateful. We are grateful for everything that you do for us, from the small things to the big things. Be glorified and be magnified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. My dear friend, God is good and God is with us. His grace is truly sufficient. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. As I begin to pray for you, I encourage you, comment and agree. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever my dear friend is, 
and whatever situation or sphere my dear friend finds themselves in. Help my dear friend to break free from the endless pursuit of trying to please people and trying to meet demands and expectations of them. Help my dear friend to break free from this endless cycle of unhappiness and to start to enjoy the true blessing that you have given us and the true meaning of life. To start to enjoy time in your presence. To start to enjoy and appreciate everything that you've created, including friends and family. And to truly appreciate the blessing that you've given us. I pray that you will do miracles, signs and wonders in my dear friend's life who is tuned in and take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. God bless you, my dear friend. I'll see you again soon. Until then, Shalom and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.